Hey, Highview family, once again, I get the opportunity to come before you and just give you a word of encouragement. And I love just to start my time today just to say thank you to you. I've received so many incredible notes, so many great texts, conversations, and you've been so overwhelmingly encouraging to all that is happening, what God is doing in and through Highview at this time. I'm amazed at all the goodness that's taking place. Just overwhelmed with God in the way that He is working in the lives of our people. Man, I had the opportunity to run into our homeless ministry, and I got to see them this week go out in the rain to go and to serve those less fortunate in our city. And they told me specifically, they were going down because for many of us, we have a backup plan, but for the homeless, they don't have a backup plan. And so how can they abandon them in their greatest need? And so they were going down and serving, and I was just overwhelmed by just their servanthood and the goodness of our Lord. And I'm just thankful for all the hard work that's happening among our staff and among our people, just all the material that's being pushed out, all the ways I'm seeing you connect with one another has been truly amazing. I'd love for you to react to this particular video. I'd love for you to share with us exactly what you're doing, how you're connecting, how you are serving our community. I would love to be able just to have a record of all the things that the Lord is doing in and amongst our church. It's been amazing. But I wanna to continue to remind you and encourage you to remain focused on the Lord Jesus with me, to fix our eyes upon Him, who is the author and perfecter of our faith. I'd love to, for you to take a moment with me in Psalm 86. I've been in the Psalms lately and just letting the Lord speak to me in and through His Word. It's been so rich. And in Psalm 86, verse number 11, it says this, Teach me your way, Lord, and I will live by your truth. Give me an undivided mind to fear your name. That's what it looks like for us to have our eyes fixed upon Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith that the Lord teaches us His ways so that we will live by His truth, so that He will give us a mind and a heart that's united towards Him and Him alone, so that we may have awe and reverence for His name. I mean, what a beautiful opportunity, what a gift the Lord gives to us that we get to pursue Him and to pursue Him together, united in the Lord, to work in our lives in such a way where His name is lifted up and glorified in and through us. Man, there's some practical ways that we can do this, and I wanna to continue to remind you to go and pull out that Highview app for us to take steps of faith, steps of faith to give, steps of faith to connect, steps of faith to serve one another. What a beautiful opportunity and moments the Lord has given to us to do so. So please, let's continue to remain faithful. The Lord has already shown us His goodness, He's going to provide for us. He's going to uphold us by His strength and His power. And now we get to live and demonstrate His goodness and His grace. Highview, what a beautiful opportunity that we have standing before us. And we get to follow Jesus together. So let's do it and let's see what all the Lord's gonna do in and through us. Love you guys, I miss you. Cannot wait to see what's gonna continue to happen.